I say what oh Japs, Game Jap here with a tutorial on how to install the rather marvellous new Minecraft Aether mod. Oh yes indeed, a splendid mod this chaps. Now I understand that some of you chaps out there have been having a few problems in installing the bloody thing, but don't worry because help is at hand. We're going to very quickly go through to find out how to install it, how to get it up and running and all that sort of thing. So uh, without further ado chaps, here we go. Now you'll need the four files you can see on the screen there, chaps. You can either go to the forums and download those individually, or if it's more convenient, I've provided the link to those files on the forums here. So go there and download the either mod, the mod loader, the audio mod, and the shock app here. Right, chaps, now I've put those, as you can see here, in a folder in my hard drive called Minecraft. So there they are, there's the four files, and I've also downloaded, downloaded, should I say, the Minecraft.exe file, fresh, brand new, from the website, from the official website, so get that too, chaps. Get the Minecraft file and place it in your Minecraft folder as well. Now having done this, run the minecraft.exe file unmodified once, okay? You're going to run that Minecraft file once, and that will then initialize the game and allow you to perform the modifications that we need to do. Right, chaps, with this, with this out of the way, unzip all of these files that you can see into individual folders in a separate folder called mods. Now, as you can see, I've done that here. We've got mod loader, audio mod, ether, and shock. Right, there we go, chaps. Okay, so we're ready to go. We're, we are ready to, pr to proceed. Now then, chaps, the next thing you'll want to do after having done that is to proceed with the modification itself. Now, this is the rather tricky part, but not too bad, thankfully. What you'll need to do is to press Start, and then if you're on Windows XP, press Run. Now, if you're on Vista or 7, the box is al already there for you to type in. And type in the following, percentage sign, app, data, percentage sign. So that's percentage sign, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, percentage sign, excuse me, and press enter. Now let now navigate to the top left folder, which is dot Minecraft, and you should be in the, uh, well, the gubbins, if, if you will, of the game, which is all the inner workings and whatnot. Now, uh, le double left click on bin, there we go, and as you can see, Hold on, chaps, I'll just delete that. that. That file's wrong. There we are. As you can see here, you'll have a file called minecraft.jar, which I've just restored from backup. Minecraft.jar is what you'll have in there. As you can see, about 1,432 kilobytes. Now, take a backup of this file like you saw me do there just before you begin. As you can see, I've got a copy of minecraft.jar, that copy I've taken. Now, the next step you want to do, chaps, is start modifying this minecraft.jar file. So, right-click on it and press open with WinRAR archiver. That's what you'll need to do. So, if you haven't got that, you'll need to install it. So, there we are, it's now open in WinRAR, and the very first thing you want to do when confronted with this, chaps, is to delete that pesky meta in folder. Make sure you send that packing, because otherwise the, the whole thing won't work. Alright? Okay, there we are. Meta Inf is gone, so make very carefully sure that is the first thing you do. Delete Meta Inf for nothing else. All right, chaps. So that out of the way, we can carry on with the modding process. Now, start with Mod Loader and go to the Mod Loader folder that you made earlier, as you can see, and get all of the class files and drag them into the jar file which you got open in WinRAR. Thus, press OK, add and replace files as you can see, and it should. There we are. It should do it. Okay. Now proceed to the next one, which I would, rec I would recommend going for the audio mod next. So get all of those files and place them in. As you can see, drag and drop them into the to the jar file there we go so we've dragged and dropped so far the mod loader and the audio mod into the jar file now carry on with the shock one as you can see the shock api now in the shock one you'll need to go to the bin folder and get all of the files from there and drag and drop them once again into that minecraft.jar file from earlier there we go Okay, there we are, that's added. And last but not least, the actual mod itself, which of course is in the Ether folder. Now in here you'll need to navigate to the JAR folder because that contains all of the relevant files. Double left click on that and once again select all and drag and drop the whole lot into your minecraft.bin file, .jar, excuse me, file. There we go. They're all added in, absolutely capital show. Now go back to the previous thing, just inside trip folder, thing I should say, folder, and you should see a resources folder inside the other folder of the mod, or the, the other mod folder, that is. Double left click on resources and copy the whole mod folder inside it. Okay, so you, you've got that on your clipboard now, you've copied the mod folder. Go to your minecraft.bin folder and go back one. So that's, that should take you to the standard dot minecraft folder. Now double left click on resources and you'll need to paste in there the mod folder. As you can see, I've done that already. So paste the mod folder in and that should go nicely in and slot into place. There we are. So after some waiting chaps, you should have uh, followed those steps to satisfaction. Now it's just a matter of going to the Minecraft game, booting it up and running and playing the jolly mod. And if you follow those, those steps precisely and you've done what you saw, it should all be operational chaps. So there we are, a very brief, brief and yet exact tutorial on how to get the Minecraft Ether mod up and running. I do hope this has been of help to you. If you followed everything you saw on screen, you should be up and running as I am. I am the game chap. Once more, I hope this has been a helpful videogram for you, and I very much hope you shall join me on a future Minecraft outing. Until then.